The opportunity that floating offshore wind brings to Cornwall, um, I, th I think, is, is basically twofold. I think um, we're incredibly well geographically positioned. Um, you've only got to look at a map of where the resource areas are and we are. Strategically, we couldn't be anywhere better. I think what's amazing is just two 500 megawatt farms in the Celtic Sea would meet all of Cornwall's energy needs into the future. And so as part of Cornwall's low carbon energy plan, uh, I think it's, a, it's, it's something we've got to pursue. But also I think um, we have got the skills and capabilities here to answer many of the industrialization questions which are gonna to have to be answered, which puts us in a fantastic position to capture a large chunk of the uh, UK market, but also into the future uh, exports into what is gonna be one of the largest global energy markets that we've seen in recent times. Yeah, this is a uh, exciting sector for the county and we're actually trying to convert the Wave Hub site, which is currently a wave energy site, so that we can take four floating offshore wind turbines instead, but then develop further afield as well, both in Pembrokeshire demonstration zone off uh, Wales, but also bigger projects out in the Celtic Sea. Yeah, there are, there are three uh, collaborations which are underway, really. The first is the Celtic Sea Alliance, which is between the Irish, uh, the Welsh and the Cornish, which is a political alliance which Cornwall is leading. The second is the Celtic Sea Cluster, which is an industrial alliance between the Cornish, the Great South West and Wales. Uh, and the third is sort of local work that we're doing here, what we call the Floating Offshore Wind Initiative, which is drawing a whole load of people in the supply chain and the industry together so that we can build this sector out. Geothermal heat and power is not a new technology. In fact, it's been around for many decades, um, but has been predominantly found in areas around the world that are close to tectonic plate boundaries. And geothermal energy is renewable, it's low carbon, it's available 24 seven, and it actually has a much lower footprint than a lot of other renewable energy sources. So Cornwall has some really incredible geology. Um, we have granite under a lot of our feet, and this granite is naturally heat producing. So geothermal engineering has been at the United Down site since 2009. We've drilled two deep wells. Our deepest well is about 5.2 kilometers deep. And it's from this that we'll, we will be uh, harnessing the, the deep water and we'll bring it to the surface at about 180 degrees. Um, at this temperature, we're able to produce electricity. Water uh, that is left over from this process will then be down at about 80 degrees and this hot water will then be piped off of site and we can use that to heat local um, projects around here. So geothermal engineering um, has a number of projects lined up across Cornwall uh, once the United Down site has been successfully completed. And these projects will go towards the Cornwall Council's aim of becoming net carbon neutral by 2030. So looking at geothermal, we've got five million litres of water in that pool, so we realised we couldn't heat the entire pool. So what we settled on was to create a new section in the pool, which would be heated to 35 degrees. Um, that would make us the only geothermally heated seawater pool in the country, so a really big visitor draw, but also something we could use um, for the community. So we're a social entity as well as a profit-making entity. Um, so we'll run exercise sessions, we're going to have some free at the point of use um, therapeutic hot water sessions, maybe for people with arthritis, stroke survivors, um, people who are obese and can't do weight bearing exercise and that's part of our social provision here. So really quite exciting. It also means that we can offer year round jobs, so it's really exciting for us. We become a proper year round business, um, helping the economy in Penzance and also creating jobs. Eden wants to be sustainable in, in the power source it gets and it wants to come from a renewable resource. Geothermal has the ability to de deliver that because although it's a heat resource, that heat can be converted into power. So the idea I think at Eden is primarily we will produce power and heat for all of Eden's needs. We're looking to drill a well that's 4,500 metres deep. We've got a substantial sort of amount of public funding to enable this to happen. There's some, also some private investment and there's some investment from Cornwall Council. And that, that's enabled us to kick this off and get it going. Because to be honest, without that, I can't see that this would be going at the moment.